In this problem, we're going to find magnetic flux through one face of a cube. So I'll place the cube on the coordinate axes. I'm going to have x there, z here, and y going up. And my cube will lie like this. Each side of the cube being 2.5 centimeters. The right-hand face is this face here. Okay, so in this region we have a magnetic field. There is a variable here, 3xi hat plus 4j hat plus 5k hat. The definition of magnetic flux that you'll find on your formula sheet is the integral of b dot dA. Now the question is, do we have to integrate or don't we have to integrate for the calculating the flux through this shaded face? Well, let's evaluate the magnetic field on this face. The value of x for that entire face would be 2.5 centimeters. And so the magnetic field everywhere on that face would be 3 times 0 0.025 meters i hat plus 4j hat plus 5k hat. So in fact, we see that this b is uniform over that face, and we're not going to have to integrate. Okay, so you have to be careful. If you see a variable, you don't necessarily have to integrate. If that variable is constant over the face that you're trying to calculate the flux through, then you don't have to integrate. All right, so if we don't have to integrate, the formula for magnetic flux then just becomes b dot a, where a is the area vector of the face. And for this shaded face, our area vector points to the right. Its magnitude is equal to the length squared, 2.5 centimeters squared. Its direction is i hat. So if we dot the magnetic field vector with the area vector, we pick up only the i hat components, and we end up getting 0 0.075 i hat dot 2.5 centimeters squared i hat. Magnetic flux is just a scalar. And when you dot those together, you get 46.9 micro-Webers, because magnetic flux comes in units of Webers.